Right, hi guys, it's just Mike here again from Mike's Models On, and yeah, I uh, went out and bought a massive kit again, and this is the British Airways Concorde, massive, yeah, I know what you're all thinking, I've got two big massive kits under the bed and I've got one at the side, and this is my fourth one, so hopefully, if I keep on collecting them, I reckon by the end of, I'd say maybe November, October, November time, I'll have quite a lot of kits and that'll give me a lot to do so but as I was saying anyway it is a 170 second scale and if you just look at the dimensions 85.9 centimeters so that is bigger than my Fifi which is the B29 and so this is the biggest plane that I've got in my collection right now and uh, it is 36.3 centimeters in the wingspan so yeah, she is a a beast. So Concorde's always been one of my favourite aircraft though. And since that horrible crash which happened in uh, Paris, you know, and then they uh, grounded all the flights and then next minute you knew the Concorde wasn't out no more because they totally scrapped it all together and now it's a museum piece. So anyway getting down to the nitty gritty so this is the under under wing um, undercarriage sorry so you can just sense how big it is so just zoom out so it's like goes near the box so this is massive this kit honestly and there it is there so you can just sense how big it is uh, and then we have the actual the wheels themselves so there's like those are the wheel bits and whatnot, and it actually has tyres, believe it or not. This uh, Concorde rubber tyres. So I've just put them on my carpet. Those, there they are, right there. Rubber tyres, and they actually really are nice as well. <laughs> so yeah, definitely get a 10, 10 out of ten for this kit. Definitely one of the best ones I've seen. So far, uh, as I was unpacking the actual kit, uh, the wings decided to come off the sprue. So, <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, if we pull them apart, there we've got the fuselage where the fuselage fuselage will go, which is there. So the wingspan will stick right out. So it's going to be massive. Absolutely. And even next to the box, it's massive as well. I can't believe how big it is. Bloody monster. Um, and this morning, however, I was cutting away to get the tail fin off. So there's the tail fin there, which is also big as well. But when I was cutting off the sprue, I cut into my thumb. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll get a dumb award for that. Um. And there's the uh, front cock. The reason I took this off is because I wanted to match the size against the B29 to see if it was bigger than it, which it is. So that's the only reason why I cut the uh, front part off. And here we have the uh, fuselage, which is absolutely massive. I've just put it up next to the box. You can see it's the size of the box. So with the tail fin that goes there and the front bit once it's all fully done it's just huge so to be honest with you this kit even comes with its own stand <laughs> believe it or not <laughs> so I think I'm just going to put it on its stand and put it on top of my hi-fi once I move the uh, helicopter out of the way and everything else I just need more space because there's just so many kits in this room I suppose that's nine years of it really <laughs> but there's the other part anyway of the uh, fuselage so I've got that bit sorted those two parts there go on the wings as well so they're still stuck on the screw and it's got other parts in here as well so I'm just going to take those out for you this kit actually came with two of these um, like little metal rods um, 
I don't even know what they're for, but uh, I might have a look on the instruction manual, maybe they'll tell me there. But if I can't find anything on the manual, uh, I'll ask uh, all you modelling friends of mine uh, where they go because I don't have a clue to be honest. Mm. Oh, good deal. It's all stuck together, man. Right, so there's the other part there. So we've got an engine part there. And then we've got the other part, which is the uh, swoop down nose. That's what I want to do on this Concorde. I want to swoop the nose down. Because it just looks miles better when the nose is down. So I'm going to try and perfect that off, hopefully. And then we've got more parts there. So it's just the same as the other bits. Uh, these parts, however, uh, go on the wings, I think. Yeah, uh, wing parts. Definitely wing parts. Possibly wheel wells. <clears throat> and now, obviously, it comes to the black parts, which are the engine bits. Some nice, very nice detail on them as well. Yep. Obviously, it's Concorde, so, you know, that's to come in black. And as I was saying, this kit comes with its own stand. So, that's how big the stand is. The stand's quite big. I'll turn it over. And it's got the uh, things there that you put it on. Um, and the glass works in there as well. Um, Alright. So, as always, we've got the uh, instruction manual, which is Ravel's basic standard. Um, picture on the front, yep. We all get all the run down with things. Right. As I was saying, there's a stand and everything, so it's, it is pretty good. Gives you all. Like, there you go there, it says about the stand there, so you can put it on the stand, or you can have it sitting on its wheels, but what I'm going to do is put the wheels down and put it on the stand, and then droop the nose down, hopefully. Um, it says I have to use a lot of masking tape, or tape to tape around it, obviously. Hmm. So how many stages does this go up to? So, Bear with me a minute. So there's like 15 pages and there's 62 steps. So yeah, it's pretty hard. And last but not least, the decals, which are the size of the box as well. So there's the decals are. And the decals are absolutely amazing. British Airways. They've even got the actual interior decals there. <laughs> Which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, thank you all for watching uh, this Concord review. And uh, I'll get back to you when. I've built it up, but for now, I won't be building models because, uh, as you know, I've injured my thumb, so it'll probably be a couple of days before I can start building my beauty fighter. So it'll probably be that one that I'm starting on. So, but it won't be this one, guys. I'll let you know when I'm doing this one. So enjoy your day and thanks. See you later.